Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to stream number 11 of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough. Tonight, we are going to start the second half of the game, which will tell us Riku's story. The, in the previous stream on Friday? Was it Friday? No, it was last Wednesday. Sorry, got my dates confused. Uh, previous stream on last Wednesday, we finished up Sora's story. And yeah, so we're going to jump into Riku's, as I said. Uh, I'm actually going to do this playthrough on proud mode, which is the hard difficulty as well. Uh, I've also been playing through the Sora story again for trophies and achievements for the Platinum. And as you can see by the save file here, after I've already played nearly 13 hours again of the original game and i am pretty much back to the same location like the end of the game already so yeah i've been motoring through with this um over the last week um however tonight is all about a brand new game and that brand new game is riku so yeah we're gonna about jump right in good to see you doctoress welcome along hope you are well hope you're having a great week the week has been filled with lots of fun stuff uh, let's say we're going to do in proud mode. Maybe a mistake, but hopefully the gameplay isn't too different from Sora's story. But there are our settings, and without further ado, let's jump into Riku's story here on Rechain of Memories. Stay asleep. Who's there? You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Uh, huh? The king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or, maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... <laughs> What's this? It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There is no return to the security of sleep. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Uh. Huh? Door to the truth, huh? Okay, so my understanding of Riku's story here is rather than as navigating 
the stairs and going up. We're actually starting at the basement. And then we're working our way up to the ground floor. So that's the first difference between Riku. The second difference is the, the deck here that we get to use. So we cannot customize our deck. So basically what we're given here is what we have to use. So we've literally got here um, attacks. So we've got effectively eight slights and two cards with a um, high potion to reload all of our attack cards rather than using the card pile, the draw pile. Um, as for slights, uh, it doesn't look like we have many available. There's three attacks, there's four friend cards and jewel attacks, which is something new for Riku as well. Now, I believe that the jewels are similar to the mechanics of the second Marluxia fight or the final fight in the Sora story, whereby we have to kind of, we have a, a stack of cards and we have to work through them, basically how the Doom mechanic work. But um, yeah, okay, so there's not many slights to get here, which is interesting. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump in, I guess. Just catch up on chat real quickly. Your week's been decent. Today could have been better, but even has been quite great after nearing the news of the air dates for Doctor Who. Very nice. Is that coming soon? How much longer have you got to wait, Doctress? A month from now. Nice. End of November. This is Hollow Bastion. What you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? Things you remember from your time at Maleficent's castle became a card, and that card made this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I going to learn something? Maybe meet someone? You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Ah, I was talking to him. Fine. But it better not, but it better be you I run across next, voice. Sixth anniversary and three specials, 25th of November, followed by the 2nd and the 9th of December. Nice. I think I saw a trailer for it the um, a few weeks ago, actually. Pretty sure I did. On the old Beeb. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Okay, so the map, I think, is... The, the maps are generally a lot smaller. And in... The uh, other games. Uh, Sora, sorry, Sora story. Of course, we're just gonna... Use slights to... Power our way through, hopefully. interesting. There was no card reload in there. Okay, so we don't have to reload our cards as such, which is interesting. There is literally just like one reload animation and that's that. So that's interesting. We've got an attack boost. So we have AP here, which is attack boost, and then we have HP boost. So I think I'm going to concentrate on the AP for a start. We want to make uh, Riku as strong as we can here. Take this. Yeah. Ha, ha, like it. 
Oh, another level already. Interestingly, though, we've got no... Oh, I can't... Okay. So it looks like it's pretty balanced here. We can't just go ham with AP here and make ourselves really strong, it seems. There is um, a degree of balancing here. So we'll keep that in mind. So that's fine. I think other than that, the, the game in general works exactly the same. It's like I probably don't need to use slides all the time either, which is interesting. My attack cards seem pretty powerful. So I can Anne actually just like seem to go through this with um, normal attacks. Just go down here a minute. I want this uh, confusion to wear off. So, so far, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I did not want that. The only thing we've got to be careful of here is we don't seem to have any heal cards. So, yeah, something we need to be very wary of. We're not just, like, using slides all the time. We might run into problems with health. That was my defense when I was playing a Sora, is that because we're using slides all the time, the enemies don't really get much of a chance to attack me back. So we'll, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know what Death is doing. He was, I spoke to him earlier on, and he was having... Um, he'd not been asleep for like 36 hours. So he did say there was a chance that he probably won't be around tonight. Because he's probably sleeping. So, um, yeah. He may join us in a bit, um, or he may not. Yeah. finished up some stuff for the next podcast earlier on, so... So I'm hoping to have all that um, finished in the next couple of days, all fitted and everything. So, yeah, fun times. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I mean, we're just we're still trying to find our feet with it at the minute, and we don't really know what the best direction is to go because it's like something that's pretty new to both of us. So we're still very much experimenting at the minute, but we are kind of enjoying it. It feels quite natural for us because we do randomly go off on tangents and discuss things during live streams, as you like, sort of kind of know from being part of it when Death Wishes on. Um, so yeah, it's just like us doing 
another live stream, but dedicated to chat. But we've tried something a bit different in this next one, so we've been, the way we've gone about it is a little bit different. So I don't know how it's going to come out when we when I put it all together, if I'm honest. So it'd be interesting to gauge people's um, thoughts and feedback on the, the upcoming episode. But in general, I think like the consensus from people is people have really enjoyed the first episode, so hopefully we can continue to build something that people enjoy to listen to. first impressions of like Riku's story here um, I think it's probably going to be like the, the combat and the action is probably going to be a little bit more uh, well at the minute it feels like it's going to be a little bit more boring than Sora's because we are restricted in what we can and can't have so So I think the biggest thing at the minute seems like I've got to be very careful to... Like I'm not going to use slights all the time to keep my health up and not take too much damage from the enemies, so... Like that. But to be fair, Riku didn't actually take too much damage from that. So... I do like that there's not like multiple tiers of reloading though. That's quite nice. Uh, thanks for the good, uh, thanks for the uh, nice comments about the podcast, by the way, Doctoress. Appreciate that. As long as you guys are wanting to listen, me and Deathwish will continue to put it together, so... I guess we want to go this way to get towards what is hopefully the treasure room. Uh, I don't, but my son, my son has a PS5. Hence why I'm actually getting more PlayStation time in now and um, playing more games on the PlayStation now that he's uh, not on it the whole time. It is quite nice indeed. Yeah. Um, my son keeps going on about it that he wants it for Christmas. So I'm sure. I still need to play through the uh, the PS4 games. To be fair, I never really got a chance. I, I started playing the original Spider-Man on PS4, but didn't actually get a chance to um, get time to play it. But um, yeah, I should probably go back to it at some point, although I'm kind of knee deep at the minute on a, a Kingdom Hearts playthrough, so it's just going to take um, a considerable amount of time to get through. 
I'm also trying to finish off uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough as well, which I abandoned for a couple of years. But, um, yeah. There might be uh, something else that we're going to be playing very, very soon as well, which I'm not going to play too much about at this moment in time, but... Yeah, there's uh, lots to keep me busy at the minute, that's for sure. Uh, have you got a PS5, Doctor? Are you um, in the new Spider Man? You're a Spider Man fan, though, I, I presume? You should play on PC. Okay. The only problem when you get like platform exclusive games is it just if people haven't got the money to like invest, it just isolates fans from franchise and series, which is never a good thing. You've already spoiled yourself on the story? Yikes. <laughs> Jeez. See, for me, that's where I kind of find, like, one of the hardest things in, like, modern day is, like, not to spoil myself, because there's so many games that I want to play. Um, but I don't tend to rush to buy games when they first come out, if I'm honest, anymore. Because the way game development is and the fact that games these days are released with so many problems I prefer to kind of wait that little bit longer till you know six months a year um until you know games are a bit more stable uh sorry napaz there's no deep freeze tonight well, welcome on in hope you're well Good to see you as always. Join me on the start of my Riku playthrough. And we are playing on hard. Proud. Sorry. Not hard. Proud. To kind of save myself probably a double playthrough of uh, Riku's story. I was saying at the top of the screen, my. Um, I started my proud playthrough of Sora and I'm already up to the 13th floor. <laughs> it's mad how now that I know how the game mechanics work and how to spam stuff against bosses, it's mad crazy how quickly you can play through this game. It is a little bit dark, I'll give you that one. But it is winter, you know, it's it's cold, it's winter, the night's drawing in, it's dark outside, so why can't it be dark in my game? I just I just kinda like my entire Probably until I got to about floor 10, I don't think I even bothered upping my um, HP with Sora. I just went in and updated my CP every time. I didn't even learn slights. So, yeah, pretty crazy. 
I think I was up to like 1400 uh, CP before I even started up in my HP. Um, there's up, up risen, uh, oh, the Americans don't change theirs for another two weeks, so normally, do they? Or have they now shifted away from um, daylight savings time? I know that there was talk a long while ago that the Americans weren't gonna, were, were gonna stop changing the clocks. I don't know if they ever kind of put anything in place for that. Some says have already changed. Let's stop. No, Napaz is in the uh, UK, Doctress. Um, okay. Red card. I don't like the black mushroom, so we will use you. You uh, had day off day, Napas. Everything is just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but those these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. Cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. Doesn't seem like a great bargain, really, does it, Riku? Stop talking! And I'm also guessing that, like, story segments are going to be a lot shorter with this, uh, with Riku. What do you mean, no? <laughs> uh, will you be starfielding tomorrow? I've been doing uh, review stuff today, then. I like it's like writing reviews. I, I, sorry for being. Uh, I mean, sound like dumb or anything, but I guess I don't know. Do you do, do do you have anything else? Do you do anything else other than your game review stuff, or is that primarily your primary job? Game journalism professional game mastering. Sounds like a fancy title. Okay, can we like focus on the enemy, please, and not the statue? That would be great. Again, like, so what do you do for like the like the game mastering side of it? Like, what does that entail? Because you don't mind me asking. Really, Riku? Oh, 
So that's the that's the ooh, that's the mod that you play uh, on a sat Saturday. The uh, the Final Fantasy FF20 again. Sorry if I'm butchering it, but the the Moon and Dragons kind of Final Fantasy thing that you guys do on a Saturday. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure I've asked you this question before, so I apologize if I have, but when with regards to like your game reviews and stuff, um so I, I guess like, you, you have to work from a predefined list, right? It's not just a case of like, okay, I, I want to play this game, so I'm gonna write a review on it, sort of thing, no? I may have asked you that question before, so I apologize if I have. I guess you kind of like, you don't just like work for a one on Soul website as such. You're kind of like a bit of a, I guess you, you I think I kind of freelancer kind of thing in regards to the journalism side. Who doesn't hottest female characters list to write? Yikes. Ah, it's a job. It's a job, uh, doctors. I had dibs on it first. Got me a grand for the rest of Kingdom Hearts for the PS5. 
I need 500, man. Man, I've, I've already got the rest of Kingdom Hearts. I suppose you could probably you could probably treat me to the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3, but other than that, I've already gone. Now sitting, patiently waiting on my shelf. <laughs> yeah. It's probably apparent, but I gave up on uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. It's not my cup of tea. I used to play uh, years ago. I used to play a mobile game where you had to grind and grind and grind. And it got to the point where even if you spent all of your time grinding, it still wasn't enough to get the content. And I was like, no, I'm done. Um, kind of just wanted to have a look first to see what Ever Crisis was about. But yeah, it didn't surprise me the way it was. So I was like, nope, I'm out. I haven't even got out my phone or my blue stacks anymore. I've deleted it. I suppose, um, I know that you uh, logged on last week to, to play it for a little bit. I guess you're just kind of doing content now, like when there's new content, just having to kind of look at it and then like it. without spending too much time on it. We're about clear on this room now. Where can we go? That just rejoins that room. Okay, that's fine. We'll open the uh, door to progress the story, I guess. Alright, Doctoress, no worries. You're working on the Daleks, or are you uh, doing something else? You know, it's quite mad, really. Like, with all the things I've tried my hand at over the years, I'm surprised I haven't had a go at 3D modeling. <laughs> the sun there uh, should go and watch Rocket Man. I wonder why. Doctor Who logo. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, Blender's, uh, I don't know a lot about 3D modeling, but Blender is the, the one name I hear yeah, being thrown around all the time, so. Four of these, let's use one of those. The uni years were wasted with how much time, how much you've used. No one here either. There's nothing but heartless in this castle. Boys! I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Do you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world, and you passed through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. What do you have to show for it? First, your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. It's empty, like that room like your memories. That's why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow, except the re for the residual darkness. You're wrong. I rejected the darkness. Ha ha ha. Did you really? Did you really now? Yikes, when all your memories are of empty rooms and no friends. Looks to be Riku right now. Alrighty. And we're gonna go through this door. Alright, let's go sleeping again. because they just kind of like continually go in and out from the ground. It's really annoying when you're just trying to clear them. Hey Paz, you're a man after my own heart. Although I didn't do C sharp at uni. Um, I've learnt C sharp since I graduated. C sharp is my bag. Yeah, it wasn't a thing when I was at school, to be fair, no, because, I mean, I don't know what the... Well, it's, you know, it's rude to ask ages, but... Um, I don't know what the age difference is between us, but... I was at school, secondary school, in between 96 and 2001, and we, didn't, we barely had a computer, a computer, like, lab or computer room at our secondary school. It was 
mad. My computers hadn't been fully adopted by the time I was at secondary school. I remember uh, kind of spending time with my very first Windows 98 PC, building websites in my spare time, which was quite mad. To be fair, like my son uh, Evan is in, he's coming around to like year nine. This is the first year he's actually done any kind of like computing at his school, which is, I find that really quite bizarre. Not just because I'm like in computing myself, but more because it's, it is the future, right? So. Uh, I am going to uh, uh, yeah let's just gonna go back and save because I think we are not open that door it'd be a waste of a card I don't like Riku's rolling I remember making flash stuff when I uh, was in my job in my placement here at university. Making like little Super Mario flash movies. I remember trying to make websites in Flash, and that sucked. That was horrible. Then Microsoft came along with their Flash replacement, which was um, Silver... Silverline? Which, yeah, kind of died horribly. Two weeks of work in two days since you can input data much faster. <laughs> okay. Um, where's the exit? This way. As for age difference, your back hurts. Mm. My back doesn't hurt too much, to be fair. Or maybe I'm just like... Maybe I'm past the hurt. Maybe I've come out the other side of the hurt. Your back hurts, Doctress. Yikes. Yeah. You get to my age and pain, pain is just like an everyday thing. Um. Are you kidding me? Well, I can't comment on Napaz because uh, I don't actually know how old Napaz is, so I'm just assuming, and you should never assume, of course, that I am older than Napaz. All right, time for make our way back to it. Time for a boss fight, I assume. Sure, I've just said you should never assume, but I'm assuming it's a boss fight. So let's find out.
It's Maleficent. I knew you would return, Riku. Maleficent, you're alive? You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. But of course, after all, your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see those who exist in that same darkness. No! Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. Were it, were it not for the darkness it contains, you'd be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now. You once turned to me to, to satay your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who but I can grant you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. And finish with all that. I'm stuck seeing people like you. People of the dark. I'll take you out one by one. Then you mustn't forget to destroy yourself last. For, like me, you are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So, you hate the dark in darkness enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Then let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever. With the wondrous power of darkness. Not the dragon. I think what's interesting about Riku is the fact that we have a defined set uh, deck. We don't have like any way to like reload cards and things. So you have to be very careful about just spamming slides, which is like what I was kind of doing there. But uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hollow Bastion done. Um, is that it? Literally, like, walk through here and. No point. Ah, here we are. Yep, alright, so. We are through to the Conqueror's Respite. We really need to pick up any of these stuff because it's not like we're going to get Moogle points or cards like with Sora, so. Uh, yeah, alright. First one down. We will grab a... Alright, Napaz. Sleep well. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. But yeah, first uh, area down. We will take a save. And then we will move on to area number two. <laughs> 